Hey folks, I am Troy and you're watching Troy Tube. I noticed a post on the uh, Cricut Design Space group today. Someone was having a problem importing an SVG file that they said they had successfully imported in the past and since one of the updates they were unable to do so. So I reached out to them, offered to take a look at it for them and uh, we'll switch over to the computer here in a minute and take a look at it and see if we can figure out what happened to it. So this particular user was getting an error, uh, or a warning rather, uh, when they were importing this SVG file that says something about auto flow text. Now sometimes this is an erroneous message, in fact that message has been around for years and, and uh, you know it was usually an erroneous message, you could just hit OK, go on past it and it would import fine and you didn't have a problem. Sometimes it was an issue, there would be a text element uh, in the design somewhere, and uh, but usually what I, I saw most most of the time was it was just something that was left behind in the SVG file. I've never been able to pinpoint it. The only thing I could come up with is it was something with Inkscape that was leaving something embedded in that SVG file because I did a lot of experimentation and once I had that problem and I could create it and make it happen, while my Inkscape was open, I could create new files and save them and they would all have that problem. But once I closed and opened it back up, it would go away. So it was like it was a little bug or something. So I reached out to the user and said, hey, uh, yeah, I thought it was a great opportunity to make a video, you know, take a look at the design, see what's wrong with it, and uh, found another little thing. So I'll switch over to the computer, talk about this, take you know and take a look on how we might be able to make this design a little bit better on top of that and show you a few more things and explain them as well so uh, let me switch over to the computer and we'll get started now here's the problem they were having when you try to upload the design it gives you this message this warning message says they uploaded SVG contains the following elements that are not supported text elements import anyway and when you hit continue it just kind of freezes and sets here it never goes anywhere Okay, so here's the design the person sent to me to take a look at. Now, I know that a lot of people like these vintage, uh, retro-looking designs, so don't ask me where they got it. I don't know if they created it or if they bought it somewhere. Uh, maybe they'll comment on this video if they sell this or something, or maybe they can uh, tell me where they uh, got it if, if you're interested in it. But I know a lot of people will ask that, so I'll address that up front. But one of the things I noticed up front is that the bounding box around the design that's selected is much larger than the actual design so there's something going on over here that shouldn't be otherwise the edge of this box would be over here aligned with the left edge of the design so something is awry over here on the left edge so the first thing I'm going to do with the design selected is I'm going to hit Control shift G uh, several times and ungroup everything and you see now all the objects have now been separated and you see that uh, you see this little box right here there is something over here and so if I click off of my design and then I'm just going to kind of draw a box over here and when I highlight it down at the bottom it says it is text so there must be some type of little text element down here I don't know what it is but we're going to highlight it and then just hit the delete key and delete it. Now if I select all you see that my uh, design is all uh, separated and uh, the bounding box is down to the uh, you know design itself. Now one other thing I did I've already kind of looked at this design before I made the video so um, I already know what to look for here but one other thing I did notice on this design is that there, there is a layering problem here. Uh, if you look at this yellow piece, you can see that the, uh, I see when I move it, you can see, let me bring it to the front. I'll uh, click on it and uh, raise the top so we can see it a little better there. And you can see how those uh, uh, trees are cut out of it. And I'll put it back in place here. But this green one, when I move it, has the black tree still layered over top of it and if I uh, do the same thing here and I uh, bring the uh, green one to the top if I move it around you see that it is uh, also already cut out so I can just kind of leave it in place but we don't need these trees so we can get rid of that so that's just a little uh, uh, error in the design uh, not a big thing but I uh, wanted to get rid of that and clean it up a little bit. 
Now, one of the other things I noticed with the SVG file that it is about 207 kilobytes in size, which is a little large for an SVG. Now, there's a lot of things going on here, and uh, we have the extra numbers here, and that's so that you can switch out the years and the uh, the numbers down here on the number of years of being awesome uh, and things like that so that way it makes it easier for someone to switch those out change the design so ultimately when you get finished with it you're going to get rid of some of those elements and it's not going to be a very large design but 207 kilobytes is a little bit large for an SVG file for a crafting design. Most SVGs are probably 50 to 70 kilobytes or smaller for crafting. That's just kind of an average. There are some that are larger. But uh, you know, those are one of the first things I look at when people are, are having problems and, and to see what, how you know, large that is. And uh, just to, to give you an idea of what I'm talking about with this, uh, this doesn't really seem to have an effect on, on it, but some of the things you want to be aware of is how many nodes you have. Uh, so when you're looking at a design, the nodes are like little uh, intersections. So a path, uh, if you're not familiar with SVG files, a path is the path along which your blade travels or the pen, if you're using it to write. But when you're using a your Cricut machine or any other cutting device, the path is the it's the literally the path that the blade travels along so it's kind of like a little roadway and a node is like an intersection so when it gets to a node it has to make a decision is it going to go left right straight ahead maybe cut turn at an angle a little bit or, or what is it going to do and so if I turn on my node tool and I click on one of these objects I'll see that there are nodes all the way around so typically they're at little different points at which it has to make changes and uh, they'll be around curves but you'll notice when I click on an object that when there's a uh, basic object like this little half circle uh, there are no nodes in between the two points on a straight line. There doesn't need to be. And sometimes you'll see several nodes and there, there doesn't need to be there, be any nodes there. And usually that's indication of a poor quality image that was converted from, uh, you know, the PNG or JPEG or something like that. And then the node up here in the center is the one that's used to make this arc. So the number of nodes in a design can affect uh, performance of design space. And this particular design had quite a few nodes in it. But uh, in this case, with design space is a lot better than it used to be a few years ago about handling larger number of nodes. But I wanted to show you that and just give you an idea of the number of nodes that we're looking at in this particular design. Now in Inkscape you can look and see how many nodes are in each layer or in each object. Now this one had quite a bit of separate objects so you have to do them separately. But if I click on uh, my selector arrow up here and then I click a layer, down at the bottom it will tell you how many nodes are in that object. So in the word vintage there are 276 nodes. In this number 7 there are 38 nodes. In this half circle there are only 3 nodes. In this black offset, there are 116 nodes, and so on. So they add up, uh, you know, pretty quickly, and then you have all the extra numbers down here. So I took all of those objects and checked to see how many nodes were in each one. There's a couple of them. There's one that had 875, one that had 469, and so I put them into Excel and added them up. And this entire design has 400, uh, excuse me, 4,660 nodes in it. And actually, Design Space from a few years ago probably would have uh, not handled that many nodes. So they've they've come quite a ways in being able to handle uh, these larger designs like this. Now, uh, now that we've gotten rid of those extra trees that we were kind of looking at and gotten rid of that text element, I'm going to save this now. And I'm just going to call it the file name vintage.svg and I'm going to save it as a plain SVG. Typically you want to do that in Inkscape so that it uh, removes all the extra stuff that Inkscape or anything, any other program can put in it. There's three or four different um, SVG type options. There's Optimize, Inkscape SVG. Uh, if you're down to your final design, you don't want to make any more changes to it, everything's a path, uh, save it as a plain SVG. That's the type that you have the least uh, chance of having any troubles with. And one of the things I'd like to point out is the size of the file. After I made those two small corrections and saved the file uh, in Inkscape as a plain SVG, 
you remember the file was about 207 kilobytes and now the file size is about 166 kilobytes so just making those two small corrections two very tiny corrections I might add and resaving the file we saved probably close to 20 percent of the file size and now just like earlier when I uploaded the uh, design that would not upload we're going to re-upload this again now we'll drag and drop the new file in here and you see that it imports clean almost instantly we'll upload it I'll select it and add it to my canvas and there's my design comes in clean with all my separate layers and you notice that it came in very quickly without any issues now one of the big questions is why were they able to import that file before without any problems but not now well there's been a lot of updates to design space as there is any software over time and obviously there's a little small glitch somewhere that's serviced is you know rejecting that text element um, you know it used to be that uh, those would just you would still get that warning but it would just more or less just disregard those text elements and drop it when it was imported and it would go on in and not have a problem with it uh, you know somewhere along the line that's changed uh, there, there's it, it's a bug um, you know so I'll report that to Cricut uh, and, and you know that let them know that that uh, you know needs to to be looked at but uh, in, indeed the file did have an issue it had a text element embedded in the file but when you're importing SVG files into Cricut Design Space it's very important that everything in that SVG file is converted to a path 100% has to be a path so uh, hopefully that's been helpful to you if you have any questions or comments post them down below the video